All right, so I have a question here that Ella sent and she needed some help. It's from exercise 21G and I've chosen question number uh, one and later on you'll see question number four and number six as well. So I decided to do these three different questions from this exercise. Now I asked everyone to finish their exercises before uh, they got back from the break. So I'm hoping people are gonna be working on them in the next two days. So here's some help for exercise 21G. Uh, what they want you to do is uh, find in the form the quadratic function with this. So that means we need to replace and find our a, our h, and our k. That's what it's asking, because this is our vertex form. So the good thing is they already gave us our h and our k. So if you know, h is always the x-coordinate and your k is always the y-coordinate of the vertex. So we can fill in the h and k automatically. So we have f of x, which is the same thing as y. I'll just put it as y for the time being. a times x minus uh, 2. I'll try and make my brackets a little bit nicer. Uh, squared plus k, and my k is negative 5. So plus negative 5. All right. And at this point, uh, we still need to find our a. So we have our h and our k, and they give you that you have the y-intercept. So at this, what they're telling you, and you should always remember, is that the y-intercept, your x is 0. So you know that this is a coordinate 0, 3. So if that's the case, you could put up. Oh, in replace of y, we can put 3. And then in replace of x, you can put 0. So we have 0 minus 2 squared minus 5 in this case. So because of that, this makes it very easy. For example, I can put the 5 onto this side. So 3 plus 5 is 8. And then negative 2 squared is 4, so you're going to have 4a. And now we find our value a is equal to 1 half in this case. All right, so that's... And then we re, we, you should rewrite this form as your final answer f of x is equal to 1 half x minus, in this case, 2. We already know that. And then squared minus 5. So there's your final answer. So that was question 1. So you just have to find your h and your k, which was very simple because I already gave you the vertex. So this is a lot of theory. You have to know your theory with quadratic functions. Uh, the next question was this one. I took question number four, and it says fill in the form. Now, this is a general form, so we already know that the y-intercept uh, y is c, so that's easy to fill in, and they give you the vertex. So um, you can begin by uh, filling in the value of c. So in this case, we have ax squared uh, plus bx minus seven. Now, um, if you wanted to, there's different ways of doing this. If you would like, you could, um, uh, why well, I think the easiest way is this. I'll show you and then you can tell me if, if it's okay. Some people might have done it differently. So I already know that the vertex form looks like this. Okay. So because of that, um, I can find my, I already have my h and my k, so we can fill that in here. Uh, x, our h is 1, so this is my h. And my k, in this case, is subtract 4. So this is my k here. All right, and then we have y. And then they also tell us that we have this y-intercept, so we can do similar to what we did in the last question where we know that the y is negative 7 and the x is 0 for that point. And then after doing a little bit of algebra, putting the 4 on the other side, you should get a is equal to negative 3. So now you have this uh, form and it is negative three um, uh, x minus h, so x minus one 
squared and then subtract four. And now if you want to put it back into uh, the general form, which is this here, it's very simple. All you need to do is expand. So you should just go minus three, x minus one squared. Oh, never mind. I'll do this. I'll expand it. X minus one minus four. And now when you expand it, you'll get back this general form. So uh, you should have negative. Let's see if I get this right. Three, three uh, x squared. Three x squared. Then we have negative x, negative two x times negative three is positive six x and then negative one times negative one is positive one times a negative three is negative three minus three so minus seven which is good because it tells us that the y-intercept is negative seven so here your final answer is in this form here okay and then uh, to move to the third question we have this one here and if we look at this one, it says, find the quadratic function which has x-intercepts, so-and-so, which passes through 0, 8. Okay, so now, once again, you have to know your forms for uh, quadratics. There's, if you look at my um, theory, you'll see all the different forms, general form, factored form, and uh, vertex form. So the factored form is x minus p, x minus q and then where p and q are our roots so in this case it's nice because it tells us the x-intercepts or our roots are negative 2 and 2 so we can fill those in already we can go a x subtract well negative 2 so i'll put that in brackets so i don't, don't mess up my negative sign and then x subtract positive 2 so i keep that there so this is your p and this is your Q. Uh, and this is Y here again. So let's change that to Y. And at this point, you have to find your A. And they tell you that it passes through the point 0, 8. So we can use this. It's helpful. That's the Y intercept. We can once again do this. We can go 8 is equal to A times uh, 0 minus minus 2. So 0 plus 2. And then we have zero subtract two. So there we go. So we have that, if we put that in, uh, well, what we're in, gonna end up getting is eight on this side. And when these zeros go away, you're gonna have negative two times two is negative four times a is negative four a. And of course, if you divide both sides by negative four, you have a is equal to negative two. So now they say find the quadratic function which has, okay, so our quadratic function is f of x is equal to, and you can keep it, it doesn't say which form that you have to leave it in. So you can write it in whatever form, but the easiest way is the form that I created up here. So negative two is our a, x minus our first root, which is negative two. So I'm just gonna put x plus two here because of this here. And then our second one is going to be x minus 2. And then that is our equation here. That We're done for that. So I'm hoping those three questions will help out a little bit for those who are struggling.